My parents uh, were both from Latvia, and when the communists were coming in, um, they were fleeing, and it was only, you know, we'll just go this far, and we'll just go this far, and took nothing with them, basically absolutely nothing, and ended up uh, going to Germany, and we lived in a displaced persons camp. I was born in 1950, and then we came over when I was six months old. So I had never been to Latvia. Latvia was always kind of this promised land. And at the time, I, I never imagined that it would ever be free, but, uh, but it was definitely very much a part of my life. When you Latvia was occupied, 50 gadus. Un uh, 90. gados sabrūkot padomu savienībai, uh, Latvija gāju savu neatkarības ceļu. Tik veidot ekonomiku, tik veidot uh, iestādes, organizācijas, tai skaitā bija jāsāk domāt par Latvijas militāro drošību arī. We had to make a decision which way to go to be more Western, more East. We always felt, and we are part of Western culture, cultural-wise, language-wise, and so on. And then we decided to go to West and join all Western uh, economical and uh, security organizations, namely European Union and NATO. When we regained independence uh, early fall 1991, we started from the scratch. When I'm saying scratch, I, I, I mean scratch, no single Kalashnikov uh, rifle, nothing. Just will and determination uh, to, 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 to be independent and to be able to defend our independence. It's how we started. Because uh, we were open, open to our friends, open uh, to to, to innovations, open to a new system, new structure, open, the most important, to Western, a Western kind of uh, military system. So it's where, it's why our first contacts, our first exercise, our first, con no, first relationship on active kind of part with Michigan National Guard played so important role. On is that stark, uh... Latvijā jau pirms atmodas sāka uz nacionālā pamata veidoties zemsartas vienības. Bet kā to darīt? Negairuna par raķešu iegādēm, par litmašīnu iegādēm, par milzīgā mieroču iegādēm. Bija runa par to, kā praktiski iemācīties veidot savu aizsardzību. Tas bija tāds smags emocionāls laiks. It kā padomi var vēl bija, tie pašā laikā tauta jau cēlās kājās. Tāpēc, ka mēs sapratām, ka mums ir uh, liels atbalsts un ka mums ir ticība. Jo Amerikas ģenerāls Latvijā. Varbūt, ka Stamps bija liels Latvijas patriots, ka viņam likās, ka ka Latvija ir tā vieta, kurai ir nākotni un kurai ir vajadzīgi grietuma demokrātijai. They put a notice out that they were looking for partners, uh, partner states uh, for Lithuania, Estonia and Latvia. Well, I had some connections with Latvia. My uh, executive assistant, uh, Nazi Mason was a uh, uh, spoke Latvian. Uh, one of my best friends was also, and his wife were both born in Latvia. So I, I had uh, an awareness of, uh, of Latvia. When the partnership program first came up, um, I think it was General Taylor. I remember him saying that, you know, they were talking about a country and uh, Lat or I think he actually mispronounced it, and I said, well, is it Latvia? Could it be Latvian? I really didn't think it could. 
and it was in fact and then General Stump uh, just took a, such an active role in trying to get that country for us, for Michigan, and uh, it, was, it was amazing. They were starting from ground zero. They didn't have uh, the Zemazar, the National Guard, didn't have uniforms, they didn't have weapons. They had some facilities and they were really anxious to, to learn and, and to become part of the Western society. When General Conaway went over there to visit them, he said, listen, why don't we set up a state partnership program with our National Guard, citizen soldiers. It ended up being, being a perfect fit. As we found out later, it makes it even better because of long-term relationships. Uh, we were able to partner with these countries and bring them along, help them with their democracy and make sure that they're free countries and that they can uh, stand up on their own. So we went in to just show them how the National Guard worked, how the U U.S. military worked, how we were organized, uh, how our command and control worked. If you're organized under, under the Russian system, you could probably never get into NATO because you wouldn't have the organization that's, that's required to do that. But then a lot of it is, uh, is to show leadership, that you've got an organization which, is, which, can, uh, uh, which can defend themselves and uh, uh, have have leaders in there, have some equipment that you can, you can do something in your own personal defense. When I became the Adjutant General, uh, it was about a year prior to them becoming NATO members. And what that really signaled uh, was that they were absolutely uh, headed in the right direction in terms of how they were organizing, equipping, and uh, training their soldiers. Uh, so as they joined NATO, I think that just gave them a real sense of uh, accomplishment. Uh, certainly uh, gave them a, a greater sense of security as they sit right on the Russian border. There were a lot of people that were helping, but nobody could do it for the Latvians. The Latvians absolutely had to do it for themselves. And I think that's why they took great pride in it. They were, uh, you know, they were pretty teachable. And, uh, and they learned a lot in the process, uh, but they had to do all the heavy lifting. We were all there to assist. As I took over the uh, uh, partnership when I became the Adjutant General, uh, it was clear that the Latvians were making a lot of progress, as we've discussed, you know, they had become part of NATO, they were part of the European Union. And I thought we'd uh, gotten to a point where it's probably time to move on from uh, classroom type training environment uh, to some operational kinds of things. As the global war on terror uh, progressed, uh, our president certainly wanted more NATO participation. So NATO actually wanted to get some of its member states to, to participate and, uh, for operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. At some point, uh, the Latvian chief of defense was asked if they would send operational mentoring liaison teams to Afghanistan. Isn't that amazing? Here's Latvia, uh, uh, who not so long ago joined NATO and now is going and doing operational mentoring. It's the operational liaison and mentor team, uh, which was a team actually uh, built for one conduct or one battalion, where uh, we were mentoring actually the leading positions within this battalion and uh, trying to teach them and uh, teaching, of course, as well. Uh, how to fight. It was not only American uh, fight. It was fight of the NATO, which was there. And we were partners already before, and we were partners there as well. The year 2008, when we were coming together and uh, as one joint team going to Afghanistan to teach somebody for the fighting. Oh, it was first time when uh, we were actually in a such really war situations where uh, troops are getting in contact uh, three times a day. And uh, we brought with us back to our country actually a lot of lessons learned. It was so interesting because we start actually with some joint training already in the beginning of the OMLT for the half a year here in Latvia. So we met those guys early when this thing kicked off and right away we we got along, I mean, they were great guys. They're very unassuming. They're all built like trucks uh, and they are phenomenal soldiers. And they were the best soldiers I've worked with in any army anywhere. They were extremely professional and very, very proficient, very good at what they did. 
In an omelet one, because there was no, because we built the model, we had a lot of freedom to, to put this thing together, right? And so what happened was, we were getting some of their folks JTAC qualified. So the Joint Terminal Attack Controller's um, job is to integrate air power with the ground power. So they are the nexus for those, for combined fires. So indirect artillery, uh, direct fire from the Army, plus also the indirect fire and direct fire from the aircraft. The state had, and, and Latvia had decided to do the combined omelets, right, the mentoring liaison team. So they had sent a group over uh, looking at some specific skill sets that, that they wanted out of the Michigan Guard for those augmentees. That's when we kind of started walking through an idea that that was a capability that was highly required for the omelets and how we operated in Afghanistan to, to bring in close air support to those teams that were out separated from large ground units. We kind of thought that through that that would be a very good capability not only for the omelet and the deployment, but something for Latvia to develop organically within their country. If you, you know, these guys really do lead from the front and have become such an integral part of the overall Latvian military's ability to fight in a coalition environment. When you see that level of effort, um, it, it can't help but instill in you some motivation for yourself to do better, but at the same time motivate you to do everything within your power to assist these individuals to get as good as they can be and always overhanging that is, is the remembrance of Valdemar's and what he did and you know with a few weeks of training. So Valdemar's was the best soldier I'd met in any army anywhere. Uh, he was just amazing. He was just an amazing guy and he was uh, he was a field soldier. His, his field craft, his knowledge of tactics uh, I mean, he was, he, he was what a recce guy is supposed to be, but he was extremely humble, um, and I learned a ton from him. I, I mean, I, I learned more from, from uh, Volja than uh, probably just about anybody in my career. So Andre, uh, we called the wolf, Andre was very, very quiet uh, and very, very humble, but he was a phenomenal sniper. I mean, in fact, there's a lot of stuff that he taught me uh, that when I became a sniper, uh, you know, I, I kept those, kept those lessons. Andre was just a, he was just a really genuinely good man. On May 1st, uh, 2009, it looked like everybody in the world was shooting at that little place. There was just tracers pouring in from seven or eight different support by fire positions. There were recoilless rockets just one after the other, uh, hammering into the our hoot specifically. So four of those boys and a medic and two LVI folks tried to hold off probably a company plus size element. The place where it happens on the 1st of May was uh, under my responsibility. And simultaneously, we were both on the same place, in the same OP. It was the Latvians and it was the Americans. And I lost my Latvian soldiers in the same way how I lost my American soldiers. Uh, I had the privilege of going to Latvia and attending their funerals and, uh, and to uh, pay our respects and express our condolences to their their families. But it reminded all of us of uh, just how um, important our partnership was um, and the fact that uh, both countries have been asked to spill uh, the blood of their soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan and it certainly uh, created a stronger bond I think between our, our countries and between our two military uh, organizations. This, uh, this friendship is uh, tested not in Latvia as well. And together we got very sad, sad events because we lost uh, our soldiers in, uh, in this very hard operation. It means we are connected through the blood. And this is most, most powerful friendship in the world. I'm, I'm very happy because I, I was born in Latvia. 
I'm very happy because I am in this time when we are developing after regaining our independence and developing our military capability. But I'm most excited because we have the very good nice friend Michigan National Guards in totally Michigan State. There are preconditions for friendship because you know each other for, for I don't know, 10 years, 15 years in my case, I know, I still remember friends uh, since, since the very beginning for the last 25 years. Uh, this is uh, the, the kind of the biggest advantage of the right management friendship. But friend, friendship and management so, so tied up, then it's difficult to distinguish even which one is the first one. So it makes our business very easy. We know each other, we know systems, we know exactly what we need. Hey, Raymond, when you think about this capability, so, hmm. thank you. You, you, you. He knew it, it means he knew that we need this. He, he, he's familiar with our system. And this is, I would say, it's the ultimate level of cooperation. You cannot be closer as a friends, as a military partners, as a managers, as a commanding officer of the system. We know each other personally, we know each other professionally, and we know each other's systems. We know each other's defense and capabilities, and so on. The strategic implications of the program are huge, and uh, we can never let our foot off the accelerator. We do three things. We fight our nation's wars, we defend our homeland, we build global partnerships, and those global partnerships are important. This is a mission. In our world, as it is in Latvia, it is all about building readiness. And uh, that's the conversation. And how do we help Latvia uh, continue to enhance their, their capability and uh, you know, build combat power? Situation in the uh, last two years uh, in our region is a uh, challenge, unbelievable. Uh, we are facing with uh, mm, our unpredictable neighbors who is uh, very close to us. Uh, for us, need in very short period build up our armed forces. Question is, how you protect Latvia? Answer, like Latvia. It's a main, I think, idea of uh, like organization like NATO is allies. And if you have a friends and allies, you are much stronger. And of course, everyone know chain is strong than strong is each of links, and you helps strengthen this each of links. Thanks for, for for really helping us develop our capabilities uh, to be appreciated by our NATO friends, and I believe you saved many many lives in international operations uh, because you, our soldiers have been truly trained by Mission International. Guard. And the most important from you, what you what you did is you, you could call it create, develop, and sustain. But you have the full set from the very beginning, from the scratch, up to capability, and then sustain this capability, like JETA, for instance, this is unique. Because you are the most advanced uh, military system on Earth, more, the most uh, capable, the most technologically advanced, for us it's big advantage or, 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 or opportunity, let's say, to cooperate with you and to get this always to be on the edge of the capabilities. Ir jauni izaicinājumi. Ir jauni. Es domāju, ka tādā pašapmierinātībā ieslīgt nevajadzēt. Pasauli diezgan izmainījusies pēdējos 10-15 gados. Un drošības joma ir tā, kurā ne mirkli nedrīkst iesnausties. Varbūt, varbūt, ka svarīgi ir biežāk kontaktēties cilvēciskā plānā. Bie, biežāk sarunāties ne tikai par militārajiem jautājumiem, bet arī par to, kā mēs katrs dzīvojam personīgi. So as I look to the future, 
I think that, again, it speaks to how critically important is that we stay focused and uh, continue to, 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 to build this partnership uh, to the next level. And again, at the foundation of it um, is those er interpersonal relationships, uh, that element of trust. You cannot surge trust. It is not what you say, it is what you do. And, uh, and that has been certainly my experience uh, in the last 11 years, and it has been reciprocal. The threat has not gone away, and it's not going to for the foreseeable future. And I would tell you the value uh, that the state partnership program has uh, given, has contributed to building uh, the readiness, the capability uh, of Latvia is, uh, you know, worth its weight in gold. When I look at the rear, in my rear view mirror, at uh, this partnership, uh, and, and what has been accomplished over 25 years, uh, both in country, in the United States, in Michigan, uh, and in this country, uh, it is nothing less than, than amazing and, uh, and good. And so I look to the future because this is important. And I think that we face uh, continuing challenges. The world is a very dangerous place and uh, particularly for Latvia. If we talk about cooperation, it's a Michigan's National Guards uh, help us build up our capabilities in different uh, domain, air domain, in land domain, cyber domain at the moment is very important for everyone and that's this crucial point and of course you have a big uh, history, you have a huge knowledge uh, about all of that uh, capabilities. I am unbelievable, feel good, what I saw at the last two years, how developed that situation, and particularly with Michigan uh, uh, National Guard. We get as much as we give, and it is a two-way street, and I can tell you, there have been a lot of lessons learned and a lot of takeaways uh, that we've incorporated into the way that we do business uh, that we've learned from the Latvians. I'm sure you've, you've seen our coin before. I take great pride in this coin and uh, it, it, it says a lot because uh, uh, it truly, uh, a partnership, uh, friendship. If you were to define what that really should look like, this is what right looks like. It's, it's Michigan and Latvia. And, uh... In my, my arms at the moment is a very interesting uh, piece, the coin. And the uh, coin of Michigan's state uh, uh, National Guard and Latvian Armed Forces together and on one coin. And I think in the future, I want the same feeling continuous and uh, but seriously for us need that because you are always in a uh, in a first row with situation how developed at the moment uh, a lot of capabilities uh, when we are built from nothing and finally we are announcing full operation capability that is like a sweet fruit and uh, and we need for everyone that, and we are very proudly about that. Do you know, somebody is very jealous about our friendship, because how cooperated Michigan to with Latvia, it sometimes is not such good in our neighbor countries. And we are very proud about that, how we find the real friends. Their family. And uh, look, I will move heaven and earth, uh, you know, within my ability to do it, to support them. Uh, they know that. If them guys called me up, I would go anywhere, anytime with that, with that group of soldiers.